Welcome to the Gump Report, baby. You got a Gump Report here. Are you ready? Are you ready? That sounds so terrible. <laughs> Welcome to the Gump Report. You never know what you're going to get. I think this is episode 34. Now, this is the second time I recorded this because the first time I felt was wrong. It's hard to make sense of this video. This is now the third video for Zelina Vega. One of my subscribers asked me. He also talked about, hey, dude, um, thank you for sharing what you did, what you went through for abuse. Not, I'm not trying to bring this into this video. That would be a separate video in itself. And I am considering making it if there's more than a few more people to ask about what type of abuse did I go through and how did I almost try to kill myself, if you guys want to know. And don't worry, it doesn't make me sad or anything. That happened a long time ago. I'm not the same person. So I'm fine. But he also said, what about Zelina Vega? What's your thoughts on it? And to be honest, I hadn't thought about making a video about it. But I did know that she went to SmackDown and I did know that she lost. But I didn't know the context of her promo beforehand, how the match went, and afterward. So I told the guy, I'll take a look at it. And I'll think and see if I want to make a video of it. So it did look. Oof. Oof. Liv Morgan right now, I believe, has three wins. She got a win against Alina Vega. I believe she got a win against Carmella because I didn't check last SmackDown. Because I know Carmella got into the Money in the Bank ladder match as well. Like Zelina Vega knew. They were just given the spot. And Lip Morgan has not gotten a spot yet. I believe she will get, get one before the, sh before the pay-per-view happens. But when it comes down to it, she's gone through three people. And she's won three times. She's trying to gain her credibility to the company. company. But here's the thing. I had to think about this. The last video I did, I just recorded earlier. And I thought, wait a minute, I'm doing it wrong. So here's my try again. You never know when you're going to get with the gun report. You know I'm going to box this mess up. I'm going to box this shit up, baby. <laughs> okay, the first thing I want to say. One of the reasons why she kind of came back. And I also said this in the previous video I deleted. Is because of her father. Her father loved wrestling. So did she. Her father's now passed away because he was in the World Trade Center. I think he was in Tower 1 when he died. So there may be one major reason she came back. And that's because of the way her and her father loved wrestling to the point where WWE was almost like a religion to them both. She said that nothing mattered other than WWE to him and to her. They were super fans. And that might be the main reason she went back. Of course, I'm not saying this wasn't good. This wasn't good. Yeah, we know she got some good money to a certain extent. I'm sure it might have been a little lower then what she had here, it might have been a little lower, but at least it would still be good. But I do believe that might have been the major factor for her to return, her father. Now, here's the thing. I originally thought that how to describe it in my previous video, I thought the best way to see it is that she was a symbol of how bad things are in the company, and she is. She's also a symbol of Someone can put their foot down and say to Vince, no, because of what happened with Twitch, because she didn't want to give up a channel and she didn't want to turn it over to Vince. Just like Paige, she didn't want to turn over a channel and she didn't want to end it. And Vince wanted to prove a point. And she pretty much done. He fired her. That was like eight or nine months ago. Now she's back. And here's the problem. The fans will not tolerate this. And here's the thing, when they go in front of fans in the next couple of weeks, I believe in the next two or three weeks, they will be in front of fans. Finally, here's where you're going to know when they make or break Zelina Vega. It will not be the booze. Understand, guys, WWE does not care. You, you cheer or you boo. As long as there's a huge reaction, it's all good for them. They don't care if there are people there or not. As long as there's a reaction on the show and the fans react. That means on the network for Fox or for USA and Peacock, they pretty much are getting what they want. They want people to see there's engagement. You want to know how Selena Vega will be dead in the water? No engagement. In other words, anytime when she comes on television, anytime that she 
ends up in the ring. No reaction. This is where I think she's going to end very quickly. The fans will boo her. They're going to say, fuck you. That's the type of booze they're going to give. The fuck you booze. We hate you. Not because we hate you as a heel, but we hate you flat out because of what you did. Because you backpedaled on what you did. You drew a line in the sand and you backed away from that and groveled right back to the company when they said, hey, we got an opening for you. One little bit of this. They said, oh, yes, yes, please. I'll go back. That is the way they're going to see it. Now, there's going to be two categories of fan. The first one is just going to boo the fuck out of her because they hate her so much for what she did. And then there's going to be the smart fan that's going to simply do no reaction when she goes on screen. When she goes in the ring, no reaction. When she talks, no reaction. Someone is going to understand this, and then when a big enough of a group understands it, she's off TV. And then she'll end up exactly as she were before. Catering. Superstars. Unless she's going to NXT. Let's just say that this is for NXT because she was in the Performance Center. And let's just say, let's just say that she's only on SmackDown because of the ladder match at Money in the Bank. And after that, she will be drafted to NXT. The key is going to be the same. She goes to NXT. When she's in NXT, if she goes, they will either boo her to the point where they disgusted with her or they will not do any reaction whatsoever and the match will be flat. Whoever she works with, whoever she works with, it will be flat because there'll be no cheers, no boos, and even Triple H will have no choice but to remove her from television. That will teach her a lesson not to do what she did. Now, for me personally, do I... How do I feel about what she did for both situations where she comes back to the company and for doing what she did against Vince? She, in the end, made no progress. She may have said, hey, this is wrong, Vince. I'm not giving up my stuff. It didn't mean anything because there was no one to back her up. And if there was, and I want to make this clear, if there were more than one person who was feeling the same way, she went in by herself and did this. And then the minute that she got fired, those people shut their mouths and said nothing. That's if there was anybody in the corner other than Alistair Black, her husband. And there's no guarantee that he said anything either because, well, you could see what happened to him. No difference, no change Nothing. They say it takes one person. No. You're wrong. It doesn't take one person. But at the same time, you're right. It does take one person. It takes a top dog to do it. Either it takes a Daniel Bryan. It takes a Roman Reigns. It takes an Edge. Or anyone that's in a very high position in the company to call everyone together and say, stop this shit. Let's come together, period. Because it's an actual top dollar talent that's going to be putting their neck on the line. If it's Alina Vega, it means shit. So she accomplished nothing. But the concept makes sense, but it's with the wrong person or persons. That's the truth. Now her coming back, as I said earlier, it could have been because of a father. Because... Her goal is to stay in WWE probably for life because of how much she loved the company and how much she loves her father. Probably being there reminds her of how much she loved wrestling with her father. And she's willing to put up whatever shit that's there. That's the truth. That could be it. Do I believe that she backpedaled? Technically, it doesn't really matter if I believe or not if she backpedaled. Actually, I don't care. Because... She had the opportunity for months. It was almost seven to eight months ago that she stopped being under the no compete clause. No, wait. Seven to eight months ago, she was fired. She had to wait three months. So she had four months to decide what she wanted to do. She had four months to decide to go back to the company or not. And there are options. If this is not about her father, 
if this is not about the memory of a father, let's make this clear. Let's make this clear. If this is not about Selena Vega's father, this is completely out of the equation. She had impact wrestling she could have gone back to. Because when she was there, she was maybe 18 or 20 years old when she was last there. Because she had been moving around a lot for years. She's not a child. She's in her late 20s. She's almost 30 years old. So she started wrestling when she was a maybe 20, 19 years old. So she's had years of experience, even if it's not great years of experience. So she had four straight months before going to the Performance Center to choose MLW, AEW, Impact Wrestling, NWA, maybe even go to Japan if she wanted to. She could have gone to New Japan Pro Wrestling, All Japan Pro Wrestling. She could have gone to AAA. She could have gone anywhere else. But she chose to go back to WWE. And the kicker of this is that the WWE does not have the top dollar anymore. Yes, this is WWE. This is AEW. Dead, dead even. you got a guy with billions of dollars too. So she could have gone and worked with Andrade CM almost. Or Andrade uh, El Adamo. Or whatever he's being pronounced. But still, she could have gone to AEW. Impact is here. Let's be honest. There's no way. AEW, WWE is here. Impact is here. No money. But it doesn't really matter. It's not like she doesn't have money already saved. Yes, they do have about eight or nine cats. But it doesn't mean they didn't save any money for all this time they've been working. Selena so Vega has been saving her money. She's not an idiot. So she's got money for her cats and for her men. They're fine. But was this about money? That's a good question. Was it about her father? Because that could have been the main factor for her returning. Was it about money? I don't think so because she had options. And I'm sure Tony Khan contacted her. I'm sure Impact Wrestling contacted her. Even Probably Billy Corgan might have contacted her. You never know. Does she value wrestling? That's what this is all about, guys. It's not about money. It's about two things. Either her father's memory or her love of wrestling. Which one is more important to her? Because she can wrestle anywhere. Anywhere. Or manage and wrestle anywhere. That's what this is all about. It's either about her father or this. Money was a factor. We won't lie about this. She did get some good money, probably not to the same amount as she got before she got fired, but it's not the point. This is about either her father and the memory of her father going back to WWE, or it's about wrestling. And if she believes she can do better wrestling in WWE, she made the biggest mistake of her life. But we don't know which one it is. It's either this or this. As far as I can tell, she's going to get hosed soon. When they go in front of fans, either they're going to curse her ass out every time when she goes on the mat, on to the, the, the ring apron, any time when she does a promo, when they have voices and people are watching on the Titantron, they're not going to be happy with her. Not because she's going to be a great heel, because they hate her. And sooner or later, people are going to decide not to react to her at all. When she goes on television, she will be off TV eventually. They will take her off. Vince won't care. The minute there's no reaction, she's gone. Or if the reaction is getting really fierce about how much they hate her for going back, she's gone. She will go into the back and then she will sit exactly as she was before. Now, if she's happy back there, that's going to be the question. Because if it's this, her father... She's not going to give a fuck. As long as she's at the show, she'll be happy. And that'll be it. If it's about wrestling, she's an idiot. Because she's not going to wrestle in front of people. And if she does, it's on superstars. And that's if she doesn't go to NXT. If she goes back to NXT after Money in the Bank, that's something entirely different. We'll have to see what's going to happen there. But if she doesn't, sign specifically to SmackDown before the draft... Because remember, there's supposed to be a draft. I'm going like this. A draft soon. Because she could still go to NXT. We just don't know.
but this is just my point of view. And I hope you enjoyed this GUMP report. Give me a comment below and tell me. I know one person would want to know about my story about almost doing what I did, almost committing suicide. And don't worry, like I said, that was 20, oh, 22, 20, um, 2008. And no, 1998 to 2000. I think that's like 24 years ago or something. Tw no, 22 years ago. I'm fine with it. It doesn't scare me. It doesn't get me angry. If anybody else other than him, just mention it down there. It's okay. Peace.